The year, 1780. The place, the American colonies. The baby, it needs a serious diaper change. Yes, sir, Dr. Franklin, but I do think I shall be better off learning physics. And father sent me to the finest école in Paris. That's French for school. If you ratify the Constitution, you can look forward to a civil war between the states, a federal bureaucracy that can't even deliver the mail on time, and enough laws to make your head spin. That's easy. <clears throat> J'aime manger le poison. Freedom of speech. You can say anything you want to anyone you want. You're a big jerk. <laughs> Well, almost anything. <laughs> Just as I thought. You don't know anything, do you? Don't worry, Pop. While you've been in the hospital, I kept working on the monument. Don't be ridiculous. Are you seriously proposing to trade my knowledge for yours? Well, I suppose we could try it. Whoa, imagine my embarrassment. And so the loud Mountie Corporal William Brock Wilde set out for the Maple River, taking along only one other officer to help out. The mizzen mast. The English seem to be tearing it down. And how about the bookshelves? You know, the ones from the reading room. Now what about the spice rack? In the mess. You know, it holds all the jars of spice. Now how about the lampshade? Can we give that up too? You know, the one in your quarters? The fancy one with little whales on it? Uh, for one of a clue, I am like totally lost.